Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today we're going to be going over a couple of different things that you need to do to get your gas-powered golf cart ready to store for the winter. Now just taking a little bit of time to do a few things to your cart during the fall before you store it away is going to help ensure that you're not going to have any issues when springtime rolls around. Now probably the biggest thing that you'll want to take care of on a small gas-powered engine like this is your fuel. Now we've always promoted in the past that every time that you put gas in the tank on your golf cart to put fuel stabilizer in with it. Now these carts just run for so long on a tank of fuel that we need to make sure that that fuel isn't going to go bad before you get it used up. Now we highly recommend trying to get non-ethanol fuel. Now it doesn't have to be premium, you don't have to buy 91 or 93, you can if you want to. But if you can get non-ethanol, these engines are going to handle that a lot better than the ethanol fuel. Either way, whether you get non-ethanol or ethanol fuel, you need to add some sort of a fuel stabilizer to it. Now we've been using the Stabil brand of fuel stabilizer for as long as I can remember and we've never had any issues with it. So they do make a couple of different versions of the Stabil fuel stabilizer. We've got this 360 marine version that we use if you have to run ethanol fuel or if you can get non-ethanol fuel then you can just run the original brand Stabil. So if you're just now adding fuel stabilizer to the fuel tank you do need to go drive the machine for around five minutes or so to get that fuel stabilizer worked all the way through the fuel system. Whether you've got a fuel injected cart or a carbureted cart, you just need to go drive it a while to make sure that the stabilizer is worked into all parts of the system so that it's going to protect that fuel. Now the next big thing that we need to make sure we take care of is the battery. Now these gas powered golf carts just have one battery that starts the engine. Now you don't have to worry about checking the water level or anything like that. We just need to make sure that that battery stays charged up. So if you have a battery that gets discharged and then freezes, if your temperature gets down below freezing and that battery freezes while it's discharged, that battery's ruined. It will never take a charge right again. You may be able to get it to work for a little while, but you have ruined that battery and it will have to be replaced. So the best thing that you can do to help keep that battery charged up over the winter is to just use a 12 volt trickle charger. Now we like to use these battery tender juniors if you just have one battery that you're maintaining or you can get a larger version of this that has multiple leads coming off of it that you can hook up to multiple machines. So if you just buy one of these 12 volt battery trickle chargers and then they'll come with a couple of different leads, they'll usually have some alligator clips that you can just clip onto the battery or they'll have some leads that have eyelets on them that can actually bolt onto the battery and stay on there. That's what we prefer to do. If you can bolt that lead onto the battery and then it just stays on the battery permanently. So with these trickle chargers, you're just gonna leave it plugged in all the time. This charger will kick on and off as it needs to to keep that battery at a full charge all the time. Then you don't have to worry about that battery discharging and potentially freezing. Now while you're taking care of your battery, you're going to want to take a look at your battery terminals. Now if they have a bunch of corrosion built up on them, that corrosion can actually cause that battery to discharge over time. So you're going to want to use some sort of a battery terminal cleaner to get those terminals good and cleaned up and then let it completely dry off and then spray a battery terminal protector on those terminals. Now even if you don't have any corrosion, you still want to go ahead and spray the battery terminal protector on there to help keep any corrosion from potentially building up. Now another thing that you want to take care of before you park your cart for the winter is to fix any flat tires. So if you have a tire that keeps going flat, you definitely don't want that cart to sit on a flat tire all winter. That will end up ruining your tire. It will crack out the sidewall of the tire and it will end up causing problems down the road. Now the easiest way to take care of a flat tire if it's just a small slow leak is to just add a tire sealant. Now we've used the Ammer Seal tire sealant for years and have found that that's been the sealant that has worked the absolute best for us. Now to install that tire sealant, the Ammer Seal does come with a small tube 
you unscrew the cap off of the bottle and in the bottom of the cap there'll be a small tube in there and a tool to remove your valve core from your valve stem. So once you've removed that valve core, you put the tube on there, stick the bottle in the tube, squeeze the proper amount of tire sealant into the tire, reinstall your valve core, air the tire back up. But then you do have to go drive the cart for a while to let that sealant get worked into wherever the hole is at in the tire. Now we do highly recommend if there's any way that you can go drive your cart once a month. Pick a warm day each month, go hop on your cart, drive it around for 15, 20 minutes just to get things flowing. You're going to get that fuel moving through the fuel system and you're going to get things charging up. The tires are going to move so you don't get flat spots on your tires. It can do a lot of good just going out and trying to drive that cart once a month. Now the last recommendation that I have is if you have to park your cart outside, if you've got to park it under a lean-to or an awning or just out in the open to put some sort of a cover over your cart. Now there are some really nice covers available out there that, that are made to fit these carts or you can just buy something as cheap as a tarp and throw it over it, strap it down, just something to protect the cart from the elements. By trying to keep that cart out of the sun and the rain and the snow, it's just going to help things last longer. Your seat, your tires, your plastic, everything is going to last longer if you can keep the elements off of it. Now I do see a lot of controversy out there about servicing the engine, doing your oil change and all that before you put the machine away for the winter, or if it's better to wait until spring to do your service right before you start using the machine again. Well, for us, it makes more sense to wait until springtime to do that service on the engine. Oil's going to break down over time. Basically, as soon as you put that oil in the engine and it gets ran, it, gets, it starts getting contaminated with fuel, that oil's going to start breaking down. So we like to wait until springtime to put that fresh oil in there and then it doesn't start breaking down until you're starting to use the cart for the year. So we like to wait until February or early March until right before we're ready to start using these machines to get them serviced up and then they're good to go for the summer. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.